Hey everybody, it is me, your Pinoy Boy, Pinoy Knight, so welcome to uh, another mental health thing that I haven't done, so sorry I have been out for a little bit. It is a, um, <coughs> it's a charity event um, for Gamers for Giving, and yeah, it was a good time. I really appreciate it. It was uh, really fun. Um, the Gamers for Giving definitely raised a lot of money for, um, for kids for go-karts and stuff for in the hospitals so they have like access to like some of the best video games that we can provide and you know video games is such video gaming is such a great um it's such a great a great uh, tool um for rehabilitation for growth for really a lot of things so anyways thank you again for joining in um today we're going to be talking about self-efficacy and i can explain that in a little bit when i get to when i just kind of give you a disclaimer so basically just know that i'm still in grad school so i'm a master's student in counseling so as a heads up i may not always be right all the time but i would like to give you an explanation of things i've learned in my classes um just so i could be at least a competent counselor for the people who need one to be so um again thank you very much guys for joining in um <clears throat> so yeah self-efficacy like how does that even work um well let's think about it this way self-efficacy is kind of your hmm. well let me ask you a question when was the last time you felt very like happy about your about things that you've done like i want i'll give you an, i'll even give you a minute you know oh not really i'll give you a little bit of time but um what when was the last time you felt you could achieve something or the last time you felt like you could actually go get to where you want to be your goals your life choices whatever really may you whatever may you so when we're talking about like people who want to be a teacher right there's so many people who wanted who want to be teachers who but then kind of get and they end up getting burned out and that's solely because the the it's solely because they don't it's not that they don't like to do it it's just that they don't have the drive. They don't have the, like the, that, that, that grasp. They don't have the drive to do so. And, um, again, it's not their fault. Like it really isn't. Um, but that's what, that's kind of in an, an idea. That's what self-efficacy is, is the ability to, the ability and the belief to achieving your personal goals. So, say you want to go to into marketing right but you don't feel as comfortable anymore because of like several like i don't know like multiple reasons so for example you don't feel satisfied you don't feel um uh, you don't feel satisfied you don't feel like you, you don't have the confidence to be able to do something um to like finish some of the your your work your objectives and really a lot of it is just it's not necessarily self-esteem self-esteem is a lot different self-esteem is where you actually have a belief in your own personality self-efficacy is more so it's more it's more about your capabilities and how you feel like you could do something i mean self-esteem is more like how do you feel about yourself um, so I don't know why I'm repeating this, but yeah, that's generally what self-esteem is. Self-efficacy is being able to accomplish and succeed and, and believing that you can succeed with what you have. Um, they can be intermingled, but like in this case, self-efficacy is really more, ta it's catered to self-worth, um, and achievement through that. Um, and a lot of it is used in career counseling when people are finding themselves not really happy with the jobs that they are in so like a big i guess a really 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 like good examples if you have dropped out of college you kind of wonder like what can what can i do now um that's kind of what it is like well do you still want to go back to college yes well why because i feel like you're doing because i feel like i want to do such and such and such but that's kind of where self-efficacy comes in. Do you want to s finish college? Do you want to finish? Um, do you, yeah, do you want to finish college? Or are you doing it because you feel pressured? Are you doing it for yourself? Or are you doing it for something that's affecting you right now? And that's a lot of what it is. It's to 
hold about yourself individually so just understanding that what you need like what you need how you need to feel what you need to to be to get to that that belief and provide yourself with that hu that motivation that not hubris really like the well-being and that accomplishment that you need so with that in mind one what is self-efficacy used to well like what is self-efficacy in this um this context um well one way to measure your self-efficacy is how do you feel in your job okay so when we go through and i'm just kind of pulling some stuff up from like some of my notes so when you feel like you can achieve your task you have your you actually feel elated you can you have performance accomplishments so basically that's based off of your past experiences like how did you deal with this did you do well did you do um like generally that's what it is did you do well and such and such and yada 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 um and it's that has so much bearing in what you want to do in the future um and also even your choices because when you when you acknowledge a lot of your past experiences you really like tend to think about like well i'm going to weigh this out do i want to do this because i've been doing pretty well with it but is it is all of this worth that kind of negativity and so that's and again that's going to be on you you it is your job to decide whether you want to continue doing it based off your past experiences so um example for past experiences are if you got if you got um employee of the year at meyer like four times you know meyer by the way if you're not if you don't know what meyer is it's a really really big store in the midwest it's like supermarket stuff for food and things groceries whatever um but yeah past experiences so if you're like employee of the year you know you would take that into consideration because that's the thing that helps you realize a lot of your um that that's the thing that really hel like helped you realize that made you feel good because you who doesn't feel great about themselves when they don't accomplish something you know like and that's what i mean like you want to understand about yourself that you have to consider a lot of the things that you've done don't like discredit them like think of all the good you've done and see if that weighs into like how you feel about that said job um are other people are other people happy like how do they feel about it i mean like, yes you need to consider some of the things that people do but you don't like ruin your life or rule your life based off of others vicarious experience or modeling experience is where you would kind of just kind of see it through their eyes like how do they feel do they think it's worth it either like what are they dealing with that you haven't been doing yet or like how did they deal with a situation that you just recently dealt with you know um let's go back let's go to like being a teacher um a teacher who couldn't really deal with specific kids um could look towards someone else and wonder like is it possible for me to actually do that because you did it yourself like how did you handle it how can i do that myself as well um and that's just like and that's again like when you say the phrase like learn like vicariously i'm gonna live vicariously through you and whatever that's because they want to experience that but that's what they mean by vicariously like they'll they take themselves out of their own shoes and like spiritually not literally but they put themselves into your 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 world like i am very envious of you be, and i'm i'm going to live through you vicariously um and so basically like modeling by others like what do they do and how, would that does that can you is it feasible to do what they've been doing right now but in your own way um so there's that social persuasion so it's basically talking with people and this could be like a coach a counselor a co-worker um but they could see you they like they could help you do what you need to learn how to do um and that's a lot of what the social persuasion is it doesn't even have to be that either it's just like how do 
the people around you react if both personally and professionally no idea so keep that in mind that that's just one such area of self-efficacy like understanding what you yourself are capable of and being able and believing that you have the skills to do so um, and really don't forget because it's the most important thing in my personal opinion it's one of the most important things is the psych physiological and emotional states so how do you feel in all like how do you feel physically how do you feel mentally emotionally physiologically like how do you feel continuing something like do you feel like you can when you add up everything on the side right do you feel like you can do that type of um gosh do you feel like you could do that type of performance that you can actually like process something like that maybe i'm not sure because i'm not you the point is understanding that what you are physically capable of or emotionally really would allow you to like get into where you need to go um and that's a a, a good idea of what self-efficacy is so when we look at it like when you judge yourself through all these types of issues and like experiences what here let me put that into a perspective right so give me a quick second here so if we look at it in a perspective let me zoom up here so performance accomplishments vicarious experience modeling by others social persuasion and physiological and emotional states and yes i got this from google you could see it right now um, i just needed to get you guys like a nice visual so when we look at when we look at the physiological emotional states when you consider all the issues like think about the really big question is like how do you feel about all of these things because as you can see self-efficacy leads directly into your behavior and performance depending on how you take care of everything else how you process your your person your previous accomplishments and experiences how you've taken in like and considered feedback from um and examples from others and how you personally how you personally feel about it will directly it will directly affect your performance and behavior in the job or really anything like school work um even in like sports like uh, you guys can't see my hand signals so when you think about self-efficacy do you feel comfortable where you are do you feel like you can take care of all of those issues that are that are brought upon you like in any job that you have if not like don't i wouldn't say don't i'm not trying to say quit your job in like three seconds what i'm trying to say is like how do you truly feel happy where you are do you feel the self-worth that you've been wanting to feel for a long time do you feel happy being um, a teacher do you feel happy working as a janitor do you feel happy working down like downtown as like an officer that's up to you that's if you feel like you've taken in and you considered four of these things the experiences some of the modeling persuasion of uh, social persuasion so that's again the coaching from others like even a counselor for example like just seeing how you are doing yourself a boss really um and then your emotional and your physical states like how are how are those things affecting your how you perceive yourself and then how is it going into your work ethic your daily life daily routine how are you dealing with that and that's up to you oh so that was a lot um but yeah self-efficacy is basically to in to summarize self-efficacy is very it's it's not self-esteem but it's rather in a career counseling area if you don't don't force yourself the reason why i'm saying all this is don't force yourself into going into going down a um a, a career pathway that you don't even want to do like initially 
what's like some of the things that you love to do i mean like yes hobbies can't always be jobs but they can if you really believe yourself to do it um do you feel successful in where you are right now like answer that question what are things that you can consider what are the things you can do in the future um how have you been acting lately like that is a huge thing self-efficacy is very important because of that um this yeah and again this goes into the career counseling realm because we are we are taught that if we we are taught to we are taught this simple thing where we go to college pass college get a job call it good We are seriously forcing ourselves to do things that we hate to do. And that's really no bueno. You're, we're doing these things because we feel like what what are the factors that forces us into doing these specific areas? Well, I mean, I'm an Asian. I kind of felt forced to go to school anyway. I mean, I'm glad I went to school, but I believe because not just my parents, too, but I believed um, that society wise, like if I went to get my bachelor's degree, I'd be smart. I mean, in my personal opinion, getting a bachelor's degree now is like it really everybody can do that. And I don't mean that like I mean that in a very general way of like I'm going for a master's because not only does not many people have it, but I also want to do counseling. I couldn't do that as an undergrad. But the thing is, I felt forced to go into school, at least for my master's. I didn't feel like I had to. I, I, I didn't feel forced by like somebody else. I, I personally felt that worth of wanting to become a counselor. I didn't feel forced that I had to go to master's to get my master's. I mean, I'm being forced to get my master's in, uh, for the, in the sense of it's kind of a requirement to get as a counselor. But I mean, what I mean is that nobody outside of me, I mean, really not none of my parents, not society. What I considered when I chose to go to grad school, when I chose to do, go to Twitch is that would I be happy? Would I be content based off of other things? Um, I've had a past experience about help with helping kids one-on-one uh, -on -one at a high school and I felt very I felt much more appreciative of myself because I felt at least I could do some kind of right for somebody else and I got that feeling over teaching one-on-one -on -one. so that's an example of like the previous accomplishments um, I modeled myself by, by through a lot of people I looked at other people's lives and saw how they lived it not necessarily through teaching, but it was just through how they felt looking at life. Um, I wanted to emulate that from, but for myself this time, I asked a lot of people. So social persuasion. I asked a lot of people like, what should I be doing right now? Because I mean, granted, I need to come up with that answer. Like, because that makes sense, right? Like only you really know who yourself for that answer. But I had to talk with a lot of people to like really consider some of my options. And then lastly, I wasn't really happy with it. I felt like phys physiologically and emotionally, I felt like very drained. I felt like I was sore a lot more. I wasn't sleeping right because I was very stressed because I didn't really feel I could do well as an educator anymore. Like at least in terms of um, the continual day to day, like stress of like not feeling it as much anymore for lack of a better time. And so that's where like the self-efficacy comes in in like I look at it in a way where if you don't feel like you are happy with yourself if you don't feel like you've accomplished anything at all if you don't feel any of that whatsoever if you don't have that worth in your job then it may be a sign if you've been feeling it for a long time and then, yeah it's very different for people in other cases because me personally depression anxiety bam right there the if you don't feel appreciated like by others and yourself i feel like it, it could be a sign and you there's like those factors you need to consider um what else can you do where can you go and it doesn't even have to be a job change it could be like a place change so don't think of it as like um a place that you like that you just have to quit your job right away because you hit it no like still i think you should still put up with it i'm just saying consider some of the options if you don't feel happy here, maybe you'll feel happy somewhere else. Maybe and maybe it'll be like me. I don't didn't feel happy being a teacher. I felt I felt a lot more excited and successful and I I felt more accomplished if I had if I uh if I were to go as a counselor. 
so and that a lot of that affected my behavior my performance just like my outlook on those things and that's what you got like a lot of you people you guys people <laughs> consider that consider like if you're truly happy in the things that you're doing right now and honestly you could be and I, what i could be saying is just falling upon death ears deaf ears but um there are just some people who will like forget about some of the things that make them happy like some do some of the things sometimes just do some things for yourself um i know that for a time i didn't play video games for myself i would always focus on others and i just got burned out i almost got to the point where i didn't like video games that's video games are a part of my life and i know it is for a lot of you guys who are on this site um but that's what I mean by self-efficacy. Do things because you yourself would feel accomplished by the things that, by the things that you've done, um, that you felt worth, that was worth personally. Um, just thinking about it now, like understanding who you are, um, what truly makes you happy, and don't base it off other people like don't do it because you're forced into doing it do it if you really truly enjoy something and it, it could be a side hobby to a job like you'll make time for it like i guarantee it um it'll be hard but you will some like there are people out there just just like me who are doing their best as full-time students whether it's being an undergrad or a grad student probably working a job or two and they still come home to get some streaming done just like I am now so that's what I mean if you have the time to do it if you feel you should understand that you just and I want to empower you guys you have the capabilities to do whatever you want no matter what anybody says as long as you have the knowledge the will and the way to do so you have the ability to do whatever you want to feel happy as long as they obviously like they're not affecting other people negatively like just don't go out and like punch somebody in the teeth that's not what i mean when i say you can do whatever you want feel happy based off of like based off of a lot of the things i talked about you know you have the ability to do whatever you want don't let somebody else tell you that you can't because if you go to school i'm going to be a stereotypical asian for a second if you go to school to be a doctor because your parents want to, they wanted you to and you didn't want to don't that's i mean if you didn't want to and i'm saying if that means you're not going to be really happy i mean yeah you'll make a lot of money but does money truly buy happiness like it's unfortunate that money is like this whole thing in the world but don't do that just for the money do it because you love to do it do it because it makes you feel happy some things are you're just gonna have to sacrifice some things and you know what that's just how life is you do need to sacrifice things to get to where you need to go so don't like don't be afraid to take don't be, be afraid to take the chance don't be afraid to go out there and do what you want to do all right that is probably the most important thing when it comes to self-efficacy just understanding who you are just understand that you have the abilities to be happy and to find that kind of that meaning that you have that ability to um gosh what should i call it you have that ability to each and every one of you has that ability to finish what they set out to do or chase what you have to do every person has that that on them like how like you have each and every individual has these skills that allows you to get to where you want to go you just have to figure out how to work on it um how does it affect you now because like i said you want to i'm not saying don't don't quit your job but it's being able to be happy it's being able to create happiness in the things that you do and what makes you happy that's that's up to you that's what you want to do um again as long as you don't go out and punch somebody in the teeth with your foot you should be okay 
but just understand that you have the ability to do that you have the ability to make the world the world around your personal area your personal world happy you can do that you can organize your beliefs and your capabilities to make to be happy to achieve what your dreams so yeah don't let your dreams be memes guys just do something because you want to do it so but yeah anyways thank you very much i know i kind of got to wind and i may have repeated myself a couple times but you know that usually happens um but i will be seeing you guys later on so this is another mental health tip of self-efficacy if you guys have any questions comments concerns just put in a little bit of a comment um message me if you have those same concerns and yeah thank you very good thank you guys very much for watching i really appreciate it and i hope this helps you um i am always down to talk if you need an ear to listen to so anyway guys oh hi uh, yikes how are you general mcchig i'm just about to entry i'm about to <laughs> you just came here no it's fine i uh <laughs> I'm going to be streaming uh, a game in a bit. I just wanted to do a little bit of my mental health stuff today. So um, I usually try to do it like earlier in the week. But sorry for like everybody usually just stops in at the end. <laughs> and I do feel bad about it. But um, thanks for stopping by. Um, I will be like I said, I will be streaming in a bit. But I hope you enjoy the music and I hope you enjoy the advice. Um, if you want to catch up, please feel free to message me. Catch me on my Discord. So. Thank you very much. I will be streaming a game sometime today. <laughs>